Welcome back to Botting Over Bourbon. This week, we are checking out our neighborhood, Logan Square. Mm -hmm. So our first stop is Foremost Liquor. They usually have some pretty cool stuff in their case, so we'll see what they have today. Yeah, and a quick moment to thank all of our new subscribers. Thank you so much for uh, watching our channel. Uh, If you like the video that you see, give it a thumbs up. And if this is your first time here, subscribe for more content like this soon. So with no further ado, let's get to it. Let's go. As soon as you walk in, you can see a display of all of their allocated and hard to find products. A good omen that you'll be able to find just about anything that you need. They let us try this store pick of Blanton's Finish Corazon, which was actually pretty delicious. Foremost is a whiskey lover's dream. Whether you're looking for something new, old, rare, accessible, or allocated, there's a good chance that they have it. That IW Harper 15 year is getting harder and harder to find in the city, but it seems like they have plenty. Another perfect example is this Bellmead, which is basically non-existent in the city anymore. I need to retry Redwood Empire. Let us know in the comments which is your favorite and why. If you haven't tried Jim Beam Black 7-Year yet, you're missing out. We've really been feeling Chattanooga whiskey lately. Let us know which one of these we should pick up next time. We've heard so many people talking about looking for dunkers of Maker's Mark. Can anyone explain to us why this is so popular? That Dark Arts is hard to beat at that price point, but we're going to skip it today. And if you haven't tried Jepson's Bourbon yet, it tastes nothing like Malort and you'll be pleasantly surprised.
are these Jim Beam single barrel and double oak bottles worth picking up? Let us know in the comments. We have the Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend and we absolutely love it, so we're wondering if the regular bottle is worth picking up too. Every bottle of Penelope Foregrain that we've opened has tasted completely different. Has anyone else noticed this? Not only is the World Whiskey Shelf expansive and very impressive, but I haven't seen some of these bottles in a number of years. The prices on a few of these are well below the market average, and I was very tempted to pick up at least a few. If you're a seasoned scotch shrinker and you're looking to break into Japanese whiskey, this Sakata 10-year sherry cask is absolutely delicious.
They have just about every 1792 except for the sweet wheat. This Glenn Farclos cast strength, which is now owned by Zazerac, is almost impossible to find, and that price point was very tempting. But sadly, I have to pass today. Indian whiskey looks more and more interesting, but we haven't really tried any. Is Paul John any good? Their rise section is also very robust with lots of things that we've never seen before. This Chattanooga rye malt whiskey has really changed how we feel about rye at the moment. Obviously, we couldn't wait to get home to break it open.
Here's another one that's been on our hit list for a while. Old Hammer is out of Indianapolis and they're absolutely delicious, but they don't get a lot of distribution in Chicago, so we're happy to find this cast strength rye. Silky is another one of the things that we tried at the World of Whiskeys event. From what we can remember, it was absolutely delicious. We tried it at the beginning of the night and we loved it, but don't remember much about it afterwards. We've seen this blue ash farm so many times and it was recommended by a viewer, so today's the day it comes home. Is this Sam Houston no age statement any good? We've seen it a few times, but we don't know if it's worth the trouble. Their rare case is eye-catching and has quite an eclectic selection of whiskeys and other spirits. If there's anything that you just have to have and you can't find it anywhere, if it's rare, allocated, a one-off, a unicorn, or anything else, there's a good chance you'll find it in this case. We've met people traveling from other states just to come here to find exactly what they're looking for.
After seeing all the goodies at the rare case at Foremost, we checked out one of our other spots, but unfortunately they weren't comfortable with us filming. So off camera, we got a Wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit store pick, as well as the gem of all Buffalo Trace products, Elmer T. Lee, both at MSRP. We are very happy with today's haul, and we thank you for watching our video. If you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for new content, and we'll catch you next time.